bad news is the prancing horse has been let out of the stable and it's got a finished rider. Tony Volander, storied career for this man, twice FI GT champion, twice Le Mans winner in the GT class, and he's about to do uh, two of the most important minutes of driving of his career. Sun's come out again, Creelsey. This might not be what Volander wanted to see. Having said that, no one got near them early on today. He was electrifying in qualifying that set the shootout into the low two minute twos, admittedly in cooler conditions. So this 36 year old Finnish ace, he's a factory Ferrari driver as Graham said. He's from Kankapa, which is near Helsinki, not too far in the southeastern corner of Finland. But he's raced all the way around the world, a lot of time racing for AF Corsa and he is a magnificent driver. We should mention his teammates this weekend, Craig Lowndes and Jamie Winkup. Not a bad couple of drivers there. Now listen for the short shift. There he is, and another gear change, again, quite in control over the top of the mountain, he's up, tenth of a second, but he's faster than anybody in the first split. I, I thought he looked very good around Griffin Bed, and that helps you up the hill, of course. No hint of a lift there, and just grazes the curb on the outside. Now, get the braking point right, down through the gearbox to third, down again to second, gather the car back up again, up to third, snatch fourth gear, and then you're getting the car straight. A little bit of a lock up as he was coming down over the top towards the Bentley Forest elbow. Neat, tidy, accurate, but slightly slower now. There's less than a tenth of a second in it between Tony Verlander and Chaz Mostert, all down to how the Ferrari 488 twin turbo V8 power handles Conrad Strait, the Caltex chase, and Maguire's turn. Great lap so far, but there's absolutely nothing in this. Totally flat through that. How late does he break? Oh, that late! And look how cool, calm and collected he is behind the wheel. Just a little bit of a correction as he came out of the chase under the liquid Molly Bridge. He's now only got Maguire's to go. The front of the car dives down under heavy braking. Had to have two little goals at this. Has that got him the half a tenth that he needs? Yes! He's stolen it at the very last 203.055. And what a great lap that was, and what a splendid piece of machinery with that Ferrari 488. Another car, let's not forget, making its Bathurst 12 hour debut here. Good point, the, the old car last year. Yeah. It's the only one in the field, too, so not a bad debut. The only one, and it's on pole position. Wow. There's Hector there in the, on the right hand side with the red hat and the uh, green polo shirt. Well, here's how they finished, Curlsy, and what a run for our first ever Pirelli Top 10 shootout. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think we'll do this again next year. So, Ferrari on top, Tony Verlander, 20286, away off the record, but the hot conditions put paid to that. Nevertheless, a thrilling shootout, just a tenth of a second between himself and Chaz.